What's good? What's good? We headed to Black Tech Week, man. We headed to Black Tech Week. We about to, what is it, about seven and a half hour drive to Cincinnati. We right now in Atlanta, Georgia. We about to go fill up. No, I think I filled up last night. Yeah, we filled up last filled night. We filled up last night. We about to hit the road. Let's get it. Listen, this is what they don't show you, the behind the scenes of entrepreneurship. So I gathered my team and we drove seven hours to Cincinnati, Ohio. We're down in Atlanta. And instead of us spending a bunch of money, because every time we travel, we spend a bunch of money. What we did is we packed some lunches and we got, we got food, we got peanut butter and jelly. We're gonna be actually down here for a week. So let's check us out. So we got some food, we got some waters, got some apples, you gotta get the fruit going. This is the part of entrepreneurship people don't talk about. They glorify the money, the profit, the revenue. But I'm driving down here because there are some key players in my industry that I need to get an interview with. And those interviews are going to build up my catalog for my media startup. So for the people who are watching, don't think you're going to get rich overnight. Don't think it's going to work overnight. It might. That's the thing about it. You never know. If somebody told you that you were, it's a guarantee that you were going to be successful. It's a guarantee that you're, you're going to get rich. But you got to try a million times, a thousand times. You don't know if it's going to be your fifth time when you're going to hit it big or if it's going to be 999. But most people quit at zero, meaning they never get started. So let's come and look at our space. See, we balling on the budget, right? Because we travel so to so many states, uh, we're, so we're going to be in Cincinnati, Ohio for a week. Then we come back, we got a gig in Atlanta, and then we go to North Carolina, and then we got, go to Tampa. And then we go, we coming back to Atlanta because we got um, the Invest Fest. Then I go to Vegas. And then I come back and go down to Orlando, Florida. So I'm all around, man. So we got, hey, we got this for your boy, CEO. And let me show y'all for the team. You know what I'm saying? The squad gonna have to sleep right here. But hey, you gotta pay the cost to be the boss. I get the king bed. I, <laughs> oh, this is what it takes, man. This is what real entrepreneurship looks like. You don't know where your next dollar is coming from. You don't know where your next contract is coming from. You don't know if you're the next person you meet is going to be the person that can take you to the next level. You don't know if the person you meet, you can take to the next level. So you got to grind. You got to stop glorifying everything. You got to start hustling. This is the stuff that nobody talks about. I can teach you how to start a brand from scratch. I can teach you how to start a business. I can't teach you how to do this. This is the stuff you got to have it in you. You got to be born with it to be able to get and drive seven hours, bring the whole team. We all working 24 seven for a week straight. This is what it takes. I'm at Black Tech Week. We're going to the first day. Today is like a um, like a networking event. Probably have some food. Get to meet and greet, connect with a couple people. This is where the money is actually made in the relationships. Going there, shaking individuals' hands. A lot of people know me from social media, but I haven't met that many people because of the shutdown and the pandemic. So this is why I'm hitting the streets to actually go and meet a bunch of my fans and people and, and, and people I've been networking and connecting with online, offline. So this is where the real relationships are made. So a lot of people are trying to close down million dollar deals from over the internet. It's not real. It's not going to happen. No one's going to sign you over a check and write you a check or sponsor your event if they haven't met you in person, if they haven't connected with you. So you got to show people that you are real because a lot of times you can get bots and automate everything online and you're not real. So a lot of people think that just having a large social media following and doing all that is gonna really get you to the next level, it's not. What's gonna get you to the next level is having a hybrid business, a business where you can touch the people and a business where you can get a lot of viewership and attention online. So that's my tip. 
create a hybrid business. Don't try to be all virtual and don't try to be all in person because the pandemic can come tomorrow. My business model will continue to run. If they shut down social media, we will continue to run because of the relationships that we are making on the ground, boots on the ground. That's what makes us us, is because we highlight people you don't know. You see what I mean? This is why it's perfect for me to be at this conference. You don't know who's successful here. No clue. Wrapping up the first day of the Black Tech Week, it was pretty much a networking event. Grab some hors d'oeuvres, some food, connect, rub elbows with a few people. I got a few key contacts while we were in there. I got a lot more people to meet. Tomorrow is the big day where it's going to have the speakers and all the other individuals. It's going to be thousands and thousands of people there. It's only a couple hundred people in there today, but it's going to be thousands tomorrow. That's where the big boys show up, make those connections, get that key content so we can post it up, go viral, get these stories of black millionaires that are in the tech space out here. So we, we getting it in, bro. There's just as much money in venture capital as there is in philanthropy. If you tell a billionaire, hey, I want you to invest 20 million, I want, to, I want you to invest, you know, a million dollars here, that's very different than I want you to donate a million dollars. Um, because they think differently. Then I gotta figure out what the ROI is, and they said, but if it's donations, it's like, okay, well, I can write it off of my taxes, I can do all that. Hey, welcome back, guys. We're live at Black Tech Week. We're talking to amazing entrepreneurs, and we have a great one for you guys. We have Kim Lewis, CEO of Curl Mix. Kim, I want to ask you a few questions and just get a quick background story on how you founded this wonderful company. I know I was exposed to your brand by watching Shark Tank. That's one of my favorite shows to watch. So, for one, what was the inspiration on starting Curl Mix, and what were some challenges you faced getting started? Chromix started as a do-it-yourself box for curly hair, so think blue apron but for hair. And we did that for about two years and found that our customers loved our flaxseed gel and literally like the flaxseed you would eat. We boiled them, extract the gel, and put it in your hair to get this hairstyle. And that's when we came up with our four-step system to help you master your curls in 21 days or our product is free. Everybody can wear black, white, red, something like that that everybody can wear. But if you come with like a teal, most people are like, I ain't got the swag yeah. for that, right? Yeah. And build up a customer base of about 10. So sell one or one design, two different colors, to 10,000 people. Story, it's all about the story, right? So once you once you once you get those metrics in there, if you just try and leave with those metrics, as this is where I'm at, and if you give me some money, I'll be here you're not gonna convert most of the time because your metrics aren't actually that impressive most of the time. So if you got a company in your early stage and you got 10,000 users, it sounds good to you because you had zero users before. These fools will see people with companies with 100,000 users or a million users. So it's like, it's not as impressive. It shows that what you have actually exists and works. As Candace Matthews Brackeen is the executive director of Lightship Foundation and has, in this capacity, served as a leader in the movement toward fair and equitable allocation of funds and other vital resources to remarkable tech entrepreneurs across the city of Cincinnati and the state of Ohio, whereas Candace has worked to provide meaningful programming to startup founders in need of mentorship and network access, empowering them to scale their businesses and create a positive impact on their communities, whereas Candace has led by example and has shown to all who know her to be a fervent champion of equity and inclusion for tech entrepreneurs. Let's hear it for that. building an inclusive ecosystem in Cincinnati, serving on the board of the Cincinnati Innovation District and purchasing the Frank Lloyd Wright Bolter House to be used as a residence for creatives and entrepreneurs. She is also a homeowner in Clifton neighborhood, my neighborhood, and a graduate of the UC University of Cincinnati Bearcats, the best college football team in the state. Check it out, Columbus. <laughs> being a credit to her family, her foundation, and the city of Cincinnati. Now, therefore, I, Aftab Pureball, mayor of the city of Cincinnati, with my colleague, council member Liz Keating, do hereby proclaim July 21st, 2022, Lightship Foundation Day in the city of Cincinnati. Um, I would like to welcome to the stage 
uh, general partner of Serena Ventures, Serena Williams. <laughs> just left the first day of the Black Tech Week and I have an issue. So the issue is there's a huge divide. There's reality and then there's the social media, right? So here's the reality. The reality is there's a lot of individuals who are actually doing the work, putting in, starting these tech companies, raising venture capital, building wealth, right? And then there's the individuals who are online talking about building wealth. They're hyping up the financial literacy movement. They have these big podcasts. They have these big Instagram lives, right? And I'm a part of that, right? So my whole company and my whole goal is to blend the two. I don't want to be the person who's hyping it up and talking about wealth building, talking about financial technology, talking about financial literacy, but not actually doing anything on the groundwork to actually build it. And I also don't want to be the person that's building, 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 but get zero recognition, have no media, no power, no media experience. So my whole goal with my company is to blend the two.